<laughs> you ain't think <laughs> you ain't think Hebrew Argentina was gonna be this hard though, huh? <laughs> Brother Alex sir. Oh God. You digging ditch, you falling pit, trying to stop my growth. Praising God's amazing greatness, who gon' stop my shirt? Iniquity about full of mischief. Brother Alex, your service. Oh God. We are back. Amos chapter 7, verse 1. Let's pray. The Heavenly Father, Lord God, show mercy upon this teaching, Lord God. Open the minds and ears, Lord God, and the hearts, Lord God. And I dare say the imagination of your people, Lord God, so we don't put you in a box, Lord God, concerning some of these things, Lord God. And we can think outside the box and inside the box concerning what you have left on record for us, Lord God, so we miss nothing. In Jesus' name, amen. Look, Amos 7 and 1 says, Thus hath the Lord God showed unto me. And behold, he formed grasshoppers in the beginning of the shooting up of the latter growth. And lo, it was the latter growth after the king's mowing. And it came to pass that when they had made an end of eating the grass of the land, then I said, O Lord God, forgive I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise? For he is small. The Lord repented for this. It shall not be, saith the Lord. Thus hath the Lord God showed unto me, and behold, the Lord God called to contend by fire, and it devoured the great deep, and did eat up a part. A fire so hot it has the ability to create drought and devour water. He said, Then said I, O Lord God, cease, stop, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise? For he is small. The Lord God repented for this. This also shall not be, saith the Lord. The children of Israel were nowhere near the size of the other nations that were around them but their borders were large. Thus he showed me, and behold, the Lord stood upon a wall made by a plumb line with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord said unto me, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, a plumb line? Then said the Lord, behold, I will set a plumb line in the midst of my people Israel. I will not again pass by them anymore. And the high places of Isaac shall be desolate and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste. And I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with a sword. Then Amaza, the priest of Bethel, sent to Jeroboam, king of Israel, saying, Amos hath conspired against thee in the midst of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all of his words. For thus Amos said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword and Israel shall surely be led away captive out of their own land. And Amaziah, Amaziah said unto Amos, O thou seer, go flee away into the land of Judah. There eat bread and prophesy there. But prophesy not again any more at Bethel for it is the king's chapel and it is the king's court. Then Amos, then answered Amos and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son, but I was a herdsman, a gatherer of sycamore fruit. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock. And the Lord said unto me, go prophesy unto my people Israel. Now, therefore, hear the, thou the word of the Lord. Thou sayest, prophesy not again in Israel, and drop not thy word against the house of Isaac. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity for 
of his land. Because you don't want to hear the words and because you don't, you want me to shut up. They whoring your wife out in this land. Oh God. Stop my show. Iniquity bought for mischief. Satan sent you folks. Violence on your own head. This plate you know. Lord, you rebuke the heathen and destroy the wicked. You see these devils trying to sabotage and really flip it. See? You see, they see it, they conscious, so they think they win it. Look at that. Then when I pull up, bang and screw, they hear you win it. Huh. Huh.